Upon completion of the cloning process, you may feel disoriented with regards to coordinating and moving your new clone body. Rest assured, your new body is of the highest quality, and you will be able to walk, run, jump, crouch, sit, and lie down without the hindrances that your source body may have had due to disease and illnesses. Once you have gotten accustomed to these simple motor tasks, you will likely find it necessary to utilize the vortex gates that enable instant transport between the colonies littered across the galaxy. All that is required is for you to locate a vortex gate and simply enter the vortex field within the gate. Upon entering the vortex gate, your consciousness taps into the vortex network and you will access what is known as the star map. Here you will be able to select the colony or city you wish to be transported to. On every colony and city, there are terminals that perform various functions that are essential to your daily life. There are storage terminals, market terminals, mining terminals, production terminals, medical terminals, and apartment terminals. Storage terminals allow you to access your storage account. These storage accounts are local to each colony, and you will have to use the transport function in the storage terminal to move items between your storages on different colonies. You can also transfer items to other people through this terminal. Finally, the storage terminal is where you can place any number of items on the market for sale for any price you wish. As with the storage accounts, each colony has its own independent market. Market terminals allow you to purchase items designated for sale on a given colony's market by other citizens of the Dominion. There are functions that allow you to search for the specific item you wish to purchase. You can search for the specific type of item, such as weapons, clothes, food, and many more. Limit your search based on the price, quality, as well as the remaining durability of the item. After finding the specific item you wish to purchase, you will have to select a seller to purchase from. Under the seller's market entry, you will see the number of units of that item he has for sale. Once you have chosen a seller, you can move on to select the number of units you wish to purchase. Mining terminals facilitate the mining of raw materials, and production terminals facilitate the refinement of raw materials to produce production materials or components and production of items. Due to the fact that the different colonies are endowed with different raw materials, mining terminals will only display what is available to be mined on that specific colony. To begin mining, you must select the quality to be mined followed by selecting which raw material to be mined, and finally, the quantity to be mined. Once you have selected these steps, what is known as the mining process is initiated. Each mining process will yield single units of whatever raw materials you have selected at regular intervals, indicated by the progress meter. Production terminals require that you have sufficient stock of the relevant raw materials, production materials, and or production components in your storage on the same colony the terminal is in use on. Every single production material, component, and final product has what is known as production schemes, which are essentially recipes that spell out what is required for the refinement or production process to be completed successfully. Depending on the quality of the item you wish to refine or produce, the yield will vary. Generally, higher quality items will require more raw materials, production materials, and or production components per unit refined or produced. For both mining and production terminals, the processes can be sped up by increasing the energy and cooling used, or slowed down by doing the opposite. Typically, a good balance between the energy cooling levels will result in an optimal effectiveness level. This effectiveness meter corresponds with the speed of the process. Furthermore, you have two production slots and two mining slots. Each slot allows you to initiate a single process in it. Note that both production and refinement processes share the production slots. Medical terminals facilitate the recovery of health, stamina, and consciousness for a nominal sum. Depending on the scheme selected, the rate of recovery, as well as what statistics will be recovered, will vary. Typically, the most expensive scheme has the fastest recovery rate. And finally, we have the apartment terminals. Here you will be able to purchase a wide variety of accommodations for yourself, 
enter the accommodations belonging to yourself or others, and enter your department's headquarters.